I presented the topic of MBC at a Unity users group and several of the people weren't familiar with the pattern. Uh, finally decided to make a more organized tutorial to get people at the least exposed to the uh, design pattern. Uh, we'll use working examples from our current development of Fish or Die, our tournament fishing game. For the model component, we're going to create a class that keeps all the uh, abstract data, state data for that object. Uh, we're going to be modeling a simple toggle switch with on and off states, so we'll just go to the code. Here we decided to combine two models. It was just a lot simpler in the code. So we've put together an ignition switch and the engine starter as one model. So you can see that our states are being uh, kept in an enum and we have getters and setters for uh, accessing the state. So if you turn the switch on there's a possibility that the engine will not start. So if it does start, we set the engine to the on state and when you turn the ignition switch off, you'll come down here to state off and you'll turn the engine off. Now what you're going to notice that there's been no mention of any GUI or any sound components. That's because there's separation of concern the model will not have direct access to that. A goal of MVC is to decouple the uh, components. So for the model we actually have a uh, we're using C Sharp's event handling to decouple and anybody interested in changes in the state will bind to it and when the state changes an event will go out. So anybody observing the uh, model needs to use this mechanism which brings up another pattern for us it's the uh, observer observable that allows another component to listen to changes in the events of another component the view component shows specific visual representation of the model uh, for our purposes, we're going to start with a toggle button as our switch to turn on and off the starter. Uh, we'll go to the code. The view needs access to the model, so we've got an instance variable, and it's got two states, and that we're going to represent the states with an on sprite and an off sprite and it needs to register for the model to listen for changes so we register list a listener and when it changes state if it changes to the off state we set the uh, off sprite on and turn off the on sprite and when it comes in as on set the off sprite to off, set the on sprite to on. For the tutorial we've made a toggle button using NGUI to represent our switch so we'll go over to the hierarchy and just turn it on. And what you're going to see is the two sprites the on sprite and the off sprite for the states and here's where we dragged over the view component onto the game object the game object is a view 
so it does have a relation that has an is a relationship and we've dropped the uh, model into the view so it can uh, access the uh, event handler the controller component is responsible for changing the underlying model data uh, for us it's just going to be a simple class the controller is going to need access to the model and whenever somebody clicks on the button it's going to tell the starter to toggle whatever state it currently is in so over in the game object world we've dropped the uh, controller component onto the game object and we've uh, dropped the starter model into the controller so now that we have a controller uh, we can things will start to happen so now we can turn off and on our toggle what you've seen here is the combination of controller and the view on the same game object uh, this is kind of common for buttons so it's not I don't see it violating anything to putting a view and controller together on the same game object the model can have multiple views of the same data so for us we were prototyping a, a keyed switch to turn like a car ignition or a motorcycle ignition and we'll, we've already built it we'll just turn it on so we have an additional view of the uh, model data so if you change the view it should reflect itself into all the other views so if I go to another view and change the underlying model it gets reflected on all the other views as for sound we think it's just another view or representation of the abstract data so we can show you what we did for our code we basically call everything a sound manager so as being a view it, it needs access to the starter switch registers uh, a listener and then when it does get uh, an event from the switch and it's on it starts a one one shot sound for cranking the uh, starter and that's about as simple as it gets so in summary uh, we create a test scene for each MVC integration and we have a game object for the model the view and the controller and we have source folders separate for the model the view the controller and the sound and we use the C sharp event handling for decoupling all the components